far in each track before it gets here. So if there's still one in stock, I will, when they do arrive, I will. Hello, my friends. I am Lynn from LJ Goods. Welcome and happy Twixtmas to you. It is so good to uh, see you here today. It's been a few days, but we are excited to um, get back together with our EJG family today and do a little bit of reflection and a little bit of goal setting maybe and just some downtime relaxing into an art journal and uh, maybe just sharing some ideas with each other. So thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Megan is here. Hi. And <laughs> what? <laughs> that was just so like, hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's got a thousand and one things on her mind, I'm sure. Anyway, um, yeah, Megan's here with us today, and we're just so glad to be back. This is a funky time of year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it's a funky time for creatives, and it's sorting out whether, like, okay, do I do Valentine's Day? What's coming for spring? What's, oh, trust me, my head is spinning. My notes app is, like, full of ideas. But I do sometimes just have to take a step back and really just kind of come into my own space and my own creativity in order to be inspired for the year ahead, if that makes sense at all. And the best way that I know how to do that is truly with um, my art journal. So um, you, you've seen me share some projects in here before, and we've done workshops, we've done uh, retreats. And so yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd take a little dive into uh, my art journal and create a page right now that's in this dark, so dark here, isn't it? It's is very dark. It's dark and dim and rainy, and I don't know what it is where you are, but it's always a tough week between... I feel like it's a week for hibernating, and it's a great week to use your art journal. Yeah, which is kind of like self-care, really, mm -hmm. in a way. It really is. So um, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Um, we are a brick-and-mortar shop here in Medina, New York. We are open straight through. We don't close down for any... Any uh, winter, long, long winter's nap. <laughs> I wish we did some days. <laughs> but we do keep it going here. And you'll find us here in Medina, New York, halfway between Buffalo and Rochester. And, um, yeah, you can also find us at ellenjgoods.com. Right now, you are watching either on Facebook or on YouTube. And or on our website. We stream on our website. So our most current video is there. Megan has prepared a collection list if you're interested in any of the products that we're using today. You can find that in the description below on YouTube or above on Facebook. Or you can find it in the drop down menu at the top of our website under featured on our live tutorials. You're just going to go to 2023 and this will be the last one for 2023. Can now and then I have to start a new collection. It'll be 2020. It is. It's almost 2024. Yeah. Who would have ever I feel like I'm entering a dystopian. <laughs> I want to also remind, I want to also remind everyone that our holiday collection on the website or if you're local right here in our shop and that includes the Luminara candles and that is a crazy good deal on the Luminara candles. Yeah, it really is. It's all 40% off with the code HOLIDAY40. I will put a link to that as well. Make that the pinned comment on Facebook and I'll add it to the description on YouTube. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's talk a little bit. And as I go through this, we'll take a break and say hi to some people. And hopefully mm -hmm. we've got some folks watching and um, we're going to talk about a lot of things today. So what I wanted to show you is this wonderful page that I'm going to be doing. I've already prepped ahead a little bit. And remember when we did this before Christmas with Melanie? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Um, so I have, um, I don't know. I was just kind of thinking about if I were setting any goals 
like what would they look like and I would kind of want to show you maybe how I work through a page like this so this is one of the recycled papers and please forgive me I don't know the names of each of these four landscapes even I don't yeah they're I'm gonna find it and I'll add it to the collection. they're so beautiful and I have been playing in the basement um I'm preparing a, a kind of a little video reel tutorial um, where I did this. I did this piece with one of the papers and I used an existing piece that you might recognize from the Basement Chronicles. Anyway, um, so I kind of remade it because I'm, I'm in that mood. Like, what have I got here that I can just make over and do give it a different look? So I chose another of those pretty landscapes. And if Royce is on here, man, she could tell us in a minute. But this artist has, is, it's beautiful work. So I have used collage medium and um, I have attached this right to these two pages earlier today. And now I'm just going to remove the excess so I can really have a good look at what my, my uh, page layout could be. And, um, I am not too concerned about this being perfect. Remember that our art journal is a place to explore. It's a place to explore new techniques, new products, things that are just different for you, which is one of the goals that um, Miss Cheryl Macedo sent me a list of goals that she found online. Uh, Deb and Danelle are influencers and they shared this list but I love the idea of um, learning a new skill right what a great um, opportunity to think about what is something that you've been intimidated about trying I had just had a customer in today uh, just a short while ago that has never decoupaged anything in her life. And she said, you know, I just started thinking, like, I'm not going to spend my winter just watching television. I want to I wanna do something creative and something enjoyable. Um, I feel like I'm ready to do that. And so we gave, I gave her a quick demo on how to decoupage. And she went home with a few supplies. And, and of course, she wanted to do all the things. But I encouraged her to just take that one small step, take that one paper, take this medium, and do that first. That's it. You don't need to look at transfers. You don't need to look at paints and all of that stuff. Just start slowly. That, that is a step that Kathy is taking, and I'm really proud of her. And there's really no reason why you have to give up television to do that. No, not at all. No need to think that <laughs> Megan can't <laughs> be creative while watching television. Um, okay, that's very extreme. Well, she just didn't, that was just kind of her thing, and I, I understand that. It's, it, it is, um... I'm, I'm just really, that just makes me really happy to know that she was willing to take that extra step to like, okay, this is the year that I'm going to try something different. I love this landscape. And um, part of the way that I do like to approach a journal page like this is by doing some writing. I'm going to keep this guy pretty simple because um, just with this goals list, I started to think like how I could then do another page and another page based on some of these goals. And so um, let's look at a few of them. Um, try a new form of exercise. Travel somewhere new. Read a new book. Connect with an old friend. Declutter. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I'm feeling personally attacked here. <laughs> this is I can barely like lot. get up and go to work right now. <laughs> so but but you know something, Megan? Actually that's a really good point because we tend to see lists like this and think, oh my gosh, we have to do all of this. No, no. Like I would look at a list like this and I would think, okay. Give thanks for one thing every single day. And I'm going to begin my little journey on here. Just This is kind of my inspiration. Let me pull this down a little bit. Would the Fusion Decoupage Medium be too thick to use in, our, in I, an art journal? I prefer 
like just a matte gel medium and I like the Tim Holtz collage medium too. So let's say um, one of the things that I love to do is I like to I like to write big and just big and chunky. So gotta figure out what this paper's called. And I will just scribble and write, and it kind of becomes part of my landscape. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not going to make a vision board. I, I feel like that's work. So um, Plus, every project you do is like a vision board. Especially you know what in, I, in an art journal, exactly. that is a vision board. And you know what I haven't done in a long time, and I don't do it enough, is to read a book. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Watch all of the Sopranos. There you go. Um, volunteer or help others. Think more positively. I like that. Give thanks for one thing every single day. Um, uh, learn a new skill. Let's see. Address a lingering health and wellness issue. Ah, that speaks to me. And you're going to learn that jelly plate. Yes. That's a new skill. A lingering health and wellness <laughs> issue. What? Just, I don't know. It's just. All right. And, but see, I'm writing over top of myself here. And that's okay. It's all right. To me, this is the sacred place where you can kind of write anything that you want. Um, let me see. What did you just say, Megan? That I should think more positively? No, the oh. jelly plate. That's a new skill. <gasps> Learn a new skill. Yes. So in, this paper is called Standing Proud. Yes. By Ricky Schumacher. Learn a new skill. Whoops. Learn a new skill. How about um, try a new form of exercise? Oh, no. See, to me, that just like... This might okay. be just about enough. Don't overwhelm yourself. I might need to declutter some at the shop. Okay. So that might be how I I would begin my, my journal page. And I'll let that dry. And then, you know, I looked at this landscape and I thought, you know, um, how can I... Some of these goals are off in the distance, and so I really felt like I wanted to create some something off in the distance, something that I can like move toward. And so I'm just taking this leftover, and this happened quite by mistake uh, because I I just ripped a hole in my uh, paper as I <laughs> was as I was. Uh, decoupaging it down and then I kind of like the way it looked and so I'm just tearing some small I'm gonna just maybe where they almost look like buildings or something did you prep the paper before you put the all, decoupage no, paper on? no all I did I'm just gonna take some of these and I'm gonna put some of these maybe in the background we'll see I'm, I'm just playing this is where you truly do get to just play and do what feels right to you and these are great these landscapes are great backgrounds because they're subtle they um they don't have a lot of like design and pattern going on in them so i really like that Sorry, how did you prep the um Oh, I, I didn't. Done? I just used some decoupage medium. I used, actually, no, I take that back. I used some Tim Holtz uh, collage medium to okay. put this down. And then I, I, I went right over top of it. So, again, I'm not sure exactly where this is going, but I wanted something in the distance. So I'm going to just open up my... Cheryl said, she'll be my old friend and we can reconnect. There we go. That's a goal that I can... That's something I can bite off. Oh, you... Okay. Uh, and yeah. in fact, check. I just talked to you this morning. There you go. <laughs> good one. Yeah, good one. All right. And you're saying like, but you're, you're going right over top of your words. Yes, I am. I'm not going to forget these goals. I've written them down. 
but I also want them, they're personal and um, I don't need to be accountable to anybody but myself, so. Yeah, that's a paint pen, right mom? Not a chalk pen? That is a paint pen. It's the Posca, uh, Uni Posca marker and um, I we have those in our, in our in the Amazon, Amazon shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paula. Is that Paula Marquis? Yes. Hi Paula. And Melissa Jacobson. Hi here. Melissa. One of the goals that we have been working on is to get our, our spring retreat in order and we're really excited about uh, that coming up and we'll have a date for you before too long. But um yes, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. I know it's gonna be a blast. Mary's going to attempt to upholster an old wingback chair. Are you? Mary, that's really exciting. What are some, do any of you make goals? I don't like to call them resolutions anymore because they just seem doomed for failure. So do you have a goal in mind? What is it you are thinking of? Let's chat about it. Amy, this is a great way, if you haven't done any journaling, it's just a great way to do it because there's just no... Yeah. And you can even follow it's my just lead. just free form. You can just kind of follow my lead even. No? This makes me think also of this in the distance of traveling. And JR and I are talking about, like, where would we like to go that we've never been before and spend some time and so that's that's kind of another little goal that I have in mind. That's so important if you can do it. But again, the colors are going to work because I'm using the same colors that this art, it's from her paper. So it's all going to work together. You don't have to worry about, you know, like, oh, I got to match papers. I got to paint. I got to do this. I got to do that. No, you don't have to. Let's just use what we have. Keep it simple. And I think the most important thing about this is just getting it down, just getting something down. That's, that's the way I feel. Sandy, are you looking for this paper in particular or just this size of paper when you ask where to find the larger decoupage papers? I can guide you to either one. Um, Nina started to learn a language a couple years ago and gave up. She'd like to pick it back up and be committed this year. Which language, Nina? That's pretty cool. Deb wants to get her craft room in order. Mm -hmm. Yes, Linda, I think that's great she writes her goals down because she finds when i cross she crosses things off she's more motivated to finish them things exactly. it's very satisfying yeah, exactly so you guys look at, i just want you to see this and see what's happening here and how i've got a foreground going and i've got this in the background like see how i'm creating even more like a direction or yeah to me this is like a direction i'm going in I'm coming from here. I'm going in a direction. What's off in the distance? What's in the future? What can I see ahead of me? Stephanie, you live in California, right? She's just saying she wants to attend the retreat and she'd come if she lived within driving distance, but you never know. Mom might come to California. Huh? It's a long way. Uh, the largest paper we have available. A0 in the rice paper. Yes, Sandy. I'm just, we don't have those like in a separate category. You know. But if you look, so these papers, are these about the size of, A0 is bigger than A0 these. A0 is like two, think of, okay, think of like a full size transfer. Like a transfer, it would be double that size. Yeah, so these are pretty big. The Roy Cycle and the JRV are pretty big, but we do have some, a select few that are bigger than that. And you mm -hmm. would look for decoupage queen papers. You could really probably just search A0 on our website. And those yes, are really, can. really big. Yeah. yeah. So we don't stock a lot of those, but no. it's what I use, you know, when we're 
when I'm doing like the, the a dresser or that reminds me of when you look across the lake how you can kind of see Toronto yeah those little yeah buildings. yeah it does you're right um like the reflection mm -hmm. And Sandy, I can help you more specifically. You can always give us a call here. Or and I can always me. order. If you, anything you see, pretty much anything you see that's Decoupage Queen or Paper Designs Italy, I can get in a large format. We can order those once a month. Mary said, right now her goal is to buy a new stove. Hers decided not to work on Christmas Day while making oh, dinner for Mary, 20 people. You're kidding me. Thank goodness she has a stove in the basement. Carla doesn't have resolutions but goals to get herself caught up on projects, genealogy, scrapbooks, declutter spaces. Watching you chill with journaling is one of my favorite exercises. Your background pages are my present favorite paintings. So oh, she's hoping nice. to thrift some paintings. That's awesome. Linda's been studying Italian. Really? She's going to yes, Tuscany because she November, is yeah. going. I know. Doesn't that sound like a, a dream trip? Woo. Paul's going to paint her kitchen cabinets. Okay. Anybody else? Lots of people want to travel more. Deb said she'd like to finish even one project. <laughs> That's how I, I hear you. Deb. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Yeah. But see, even, here's the thing, like, okay, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, you know, I'm talking to you guys. I'm thinking about goals. I'm thinking about the future. I'm thinking about, um, it's giving me a little bit of direction. And I know sometimes it's really hard to think of, like, oh, art journaling, and how do I do it? Where do I begin? You begin like this. Here you go. You just put down a, a beautiful base piece I sometimes will also put I um I often start with like torn scraps of paper and words and lettering and it's looking a lot like you already don't want to do those goals <laughs> they're there hey they're there they are there Megan. as soon as you wrote them down you're like let me just get those out of sight <laughs> they're still there <laughs> I could have written a message to you on that. And you then, have, yeah. and then oh. uh, covered it right up, girl. Covered it right <laughs> up. Melissa is still waiting for her ancestry results. I need to do mine. So does mom. Oh, I do mine. Too. Both my big boys got them for Christmas, too. So it will be interesting to compare them. Miss Shirley's here. Hi, Cheryl. So you can see my letter, and you can see that there. And I might come back over and write some more things, you know, and redefine. Very pretty. I'm worried about that music. It's so quiet in here. I can hear it. it really is. <laughs> Do we have game night tonight? All right, so this is a good place for me to start on this, and then we'll see where it goes, okay? Um, and it may, it, I don't know where it's going. I just don't know where it's going. So we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Um, I, I want... I want a little bit of brightness. I need, I want to cover that a little bit right here though. And maybe give that a little. But see how even just adding a little bit of that same paper over the original it does. It just gives this more interest, more layers. Kind of thinking. I want, I want something positive and bright and fun. 
Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Okay. I don't think I like that. So, and it's okay. Maybe I would like it better over here. But that is the whole idea of this kind of a project, this kind of journaling and, um, but I think it might be a little too big. Maybe that's the problem. I think Stephanie it, says the, someone gave her some freebies and one was a Victorian girls in circle patterns on rice paper. She doesn't know what to do with them. Any ideas? Put them in an art journal. There you go. This, your art journal is really kind of a cool way to, to experience, like, I, I, and I just remember Sally Shepard doing an art journal, and she just, she literally did a journal that had every one of the IOD stamps in it, and she labeled them, and that, you know, and what a great way to kind of play around with, um, I don't know, just... What, um, just play around with uh, different colors, um, swatching out different watercolors or anything like that. I'm going to tell you, this is just all about the layers for me. But I'm thinking, I, I'm trying to think, I want something... Um, and maybe reflect it down here. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just kind of thinking, thinking, thinking. What, what could look really cool? Something reflective. I, I want like something big, like a big circular and some then. golden tickets. Sheer and a little. Maybe. That color might yeah. look pretty with the other colors. Mm -hmm. I know. So I'm going to find a template that I can use that is a circle shape. I'm going to go to the cabinet because I am thinking about just like an exaggerated, just a very exaggerated circle. Yeah. Like very. Like it's radiating. Like very exaggerated. Yeah. You know? And I'm just going to use my white Posca again and let me... Trace that out. Oh, yeah. See, I love that. And let me do something else down here. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. And I might just kind of re-emphasize that. I don't know if I want to put something in there or... Ooh, talk about futuristic. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really subtle. Okay. And again, I like I said, I don't know where this is going. I am just playing, but I love I'm thinking about like all of my little shapes like there and thinking I'm gonna share I'll just set right with your white pen in a circle mm-hmm yeah you could do that absolutely but we'll we'll get the shape going first and then see what what happens um, but I like things in threes so I do. odd numbers are good Melissa said to make a UFO in the sky you know well yeah. a pink sun Pretty. Do a moon. And maybe I just want to kind of fuzz those out a little bit before that dries completely. Mm-hmm. Looks like a coffee, like stains from a ink blots or something. Yeah, with those little rings mm -hmm. when you don't use one of your coasters. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alright, I like this, and I'm going to do something there, so let me grab, I'm just going to grab a few 
two colors. Huh, but I don't know what I want. <laughs> Really careful about the colors that I choose. Well, you know what? Even if I wasn't careful, it's okay because it's my journal and I can do what I want. Hi, Wendy. It might be a little bit too periwinkle for me. But let's see. mix this, I think, with just a little bit of titanium white. Let's see what happens. Mm -mm, it's too blue. It's too blue. What if you added like a little green? To I'm going to use, I'm going to make a little bit of green with some. Melanie used a little glow up. She did perfect grass green. She really did. And I liked the way it looked. getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. It really, oh, perfect. Yep. Okay. So let me see. I'm just going to see what happens if I use this stick stencil. Where's that little brush? My stencil brush. There we go. We just got some new stencil brushes in. We got some more coming in. How do you like it so far? Well, this is the first time I'm using it, but I think uh, I like a bigger stencil brush. I really do. Yes. I've seen that people even use it like with a distress crayon to like kind of blend mm -hmm. out. I know, but it's not about the same. I'm totally doing this. Is very kind of abstract and but I but oh I like it I like this kind of reflective quality that's happening here isn't that pretty very pretty uh-huh such good so what two colors are you using there? That was glow, um, glow up and uh, Electra and a little bit of white. But the white is not. No, you can use any white. Yeah, so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this. I like where this is going. And you know, I'm very, I was very like tentative about it at first. I don't know if I like where this is going. But now I kind of do. I kind of do. And again, good. And it's just about playing. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you know, like, okay, so now this might be water? Yeah. Hi there. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. We're just uh, working on 
goals for the year, and we're working in an art journal. We're sharing this live. But don't be afraid to come watch. Oh, yeah. You're welcome to. Okay. Um, so, this I like. I'm wondering, I like that tree. I just want maybe a little more definition. But I'm not married to that tree. It would be kind of cool with some branches. It could be, but then it might get a little too branchy. So let me get your let me branch just... stencil. Maybe. Just a very simple. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I brought it. get a little too branchy. It could be a little bit too branchy. I just brought a whole bunch of um, stuff here. Like just a packet of things. Let's Kathy see. says her friend gave her a journal that she had made. She covered it in material from an apron that I had gotten from a friend's grandmother. It's really? full of watercolor paper and craft papers for me to play. What a wonderful gift. Kim said to add burnt umber. You know what? I'll tell you what. Do you see this? I'm just looking at this right here and how I kind of like. Colors look good, right? It's just Even that little moon on the horizon, huh? That little moon on the horizon, where yeah. on the paper? Oh, right there. there, yeah, yeah. It's oh, got, sorry, I'm behind. So it's got the uh, it's got the it's got 15 cents drawn in it. I like that. It just mimics the other circles. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll tell you, this is another like okay, so this is a packet that I got from at Extending Grace and I just to me then this becomes part of my story and, and she what she does with those packets is so cool it's really does she fun. share those on her website no because she they're all so individual you know oh man but it's gonna be really cool to be able to buy she just does these amazing each it's one individual. Yes. Yeah. She just does a great job. I'm, I'm kind of digging that. Let's see that right there. And let me know if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to interrupt me. You can. No, no, no. You're fine. Totally fine. No, you're fine. I just told somebody earlier, if we didn't want to hear from you, we'd have a door. We like to hear from you. <laughs> chickens, chickens. Talk, talk, talk. That's all we do. That's where okay. are you ladies from? Where Amherst. Lockport. Where, oh, where? Lockport, Amherst. Is this a little Lockport? Is he put in here? <laughs> yes. So that's a mole. One of us is from Pensacola. Pensacola. Hey, come all the way from Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> She's breathing right now. Yeah, we have a lot of you here. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, I like this. I like the way this is going. And it also makes me think about a goal of just um, of thinking about home and how. Um, oh, that's cool. That is cool. You guys. I like this. Like home, and then look. Here's home, and then I'm gonna. Yeah, I got. I got a great idea. Like I want to like totally like spatter through here. Yep. We got it. We got it. I think I got a good direction going. Lots of good instructional videos on our short videos that's what we're doing right now. And she just classes are just all virtual. Mostly virtual. We do a camp every year. We're like a three-day camp where she just we're just about to announce in January that she was gonna be in April. Right next door. 
<clears throat> yeah, so she decoupage, she's decoupaging the paper onto the journal, yep. It's cool. It really is. I'm creating just a whole abstract kind of thing happening. Um, but I, I do. Whoever said burnt umber, I thank you for that. That was kind of what I was... I love that. Um, that contrast in here is really good. And again, it leads me also to some of my goals that I'm thinking, you know, of home and the future and yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the way it's happening. Although I bet if you reached out to Extending Grace, she would arrange to have an ephemera, ephemera pack mm -hmm. shipped to you if you really wanted it. And they're all random. They're just all like random pieces. But she's very thoughtful in how she puts she them together. She really is. is. Yeah. Just. Hey, Karen. But see, now I'm thinking, like, I did my circle there, but now I like this so much better. And I might do a small reflective circle over here, you know? So just remember, you can always, you can always change your mind. That's what all of this is about, is experimenting and playing and, and seeing what feels right what colors do I like what are what are the things that kind of make me feel excited about what I'm doing some of you did reach out to me to let me know that you played telestrations over the holidays and that made me very very happy oh, that's awesome <laughs> we played jr had a ball we loved it yes and he's very good he's a very good artist mm -hmm. yes we laughed a lot we're having a game night tonight we're going to be focusing more on Catan tonight we played good old-fashioned catchphrase the other night and that was really fun I haven't played that in a long time. Oh. Amanda loves your nail color. Thank you. So my Posca pen, I'm, I am now, okay, I'm gonna, I'm kind of working that out a little bit without tr trying not to get into a tearing situation here. <laughs> Because, see, I just, I liked that, but then I didn't. After I did this right here, I like this better. And I can very gently work that out. So yeah, get your fingers in it. Do use what you have. But I strongly encourage an art journal. They're just so good yeah. to work in. Okay. Um, and like, I might... Cool. I might rewrite my goals. Like, I just might rewrite them, like, right down here. I don't know yet. I might do them up in here. I think that could be cool, like Cheryl said. And the other thing that I want you to know is, is, like, with mine, no page is finished. No page in my journal, I will say, is completed until I'm done with this book. Because I always go back. And I will, oh, I, I'll change this. I'll add this. I'll do this differently. I'll, you know, um, like right now, I'm also thinking about words. Like what little words do I have? I, 
Sometimes I just sit at night and I clip them out of magazines or, you know, before I throw those magazines away or recycle them. And like, what is in here that could look at restorative? That to me is a good word to think of for, for um, the new year. It's a paint pen, Amanda. Hidden play no. So I'll just like go through some of the words that I have. I also have little, um, uh, there should be two of them that are in, there's two in packages. Where? In that center area somewhere. They're on the shelf, I think. They're in a, a blue cylindrical container. Be happy with what you find. I like that. I might. <laughs> Old word and broken. Uh, starlight. Um, these are just all little bits that I just kind of gather up and. I would like hey, to spend Grandma. the rest of my days in a place so silent. Oh, that's... And sometimes I'll find a quote or something, and it'll just speak to me, and I'm like, someday I'm going to use that. that. Sounds ominous. What? I'd like to spend the rest of my days in a place so silent. It does. Buy a casket. Hmm? Like a casket. Like a casket? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> that's what I think of. I love that. Being happy with what you find. What a great goal overall for the new year. Kathy said, I was going to say we should live life without an eraser and then let me erase the circle. Absolutely. <laughs> Sue said, I think writing your goals inside the circle with a Posca pen. That, yes, I, I'm thinking of that. Um, I'm just don't know that I'm prepared to do that right now, but I do like this a lot. So I'm guessing I'm going to glue this down because I really, really, really like this. on the path of, you know, wherever I'm going this year is to remember always to be happy with what I find that, um, yeah. My favorite saying, what? Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gilly. Hi, Gilly. I hope you had a happy holiday. Well, you probably still have some. I think you so, told me you had some people coming for New Year's. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any very exciting New Year's plans? Well, and I want to know anybody if anyone here will be staying up till midnight. Gosh, heavens, no! I certainly won't be unless no. someone is sick in my home. I'm almost out of those days where a kid will wake me in the night being sick does still happen on occasion though yeah in the night uh, yeah but it's definitely few and far between thank goodness I know okay I am going to try to get this rinsed out could you give this a quick wash mm -hmm. Anna that's a good question, Deborah. Do mm -hmm. any of you have New Year's menu traditions like we do? We eat black eyed peas for luck and cabbage for prosperity. That's a big deal, isn't it? I never I, do. I've heard of that. You want this to me, Mom? Yes, please. You don't have any breath up here. 
I did not know that. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit of the ink out. Let me see what I have. I didn't bring any of my acrylic paint, but I can use Some distress spray. Let's see, that's a little bit of light. Forest moss. Let me try that. These are just spray stains. I do like acrylic inks also. But I'm feeling like I want a little bit of dripping going on here. done you guys with what I'm going to do with this I'm going to definitely do some spatters wow Stephanie New Year's will be 34th anniversary of sobriety alcohol free <gasps> amazing I wish I had my sound machine for applause that's incredible Lisa lives in Arizona, so she may still stay up till midnight New York time. That's a loophole. <laughs> oh, Gilly stays up till midnight. They play Me games too. till midnight. What games are you going to play, Gilly? Dungeons and Dragons. That's right. So this is um, this is forest moss. Um, and again, I, I've never used the Tim Holtz for doing this kind of thing. Where's my Mr. Mister? But let's see what happens. I think, I think it can be a good thing. Lots of people have fireworks they watch. That's fun. I do love good dripping. Oh yeah. Look at how that made that like rectangle right there. Oh, Nina said they all have COVID there. Hopefully by Sunday oh, I'll be good Nina. enough to at least do a craft, even if I have to bring my supplies in bed. Wham, well, sorry, Nina. Okay, now I'm gonna try a little spray. Oh, do we have some night owls here. Really? Well, we are just about done. I'm gonna kind of re-emphasize my horizon a little bit. Um I love to get those ladies having fun in the shop. They are having so much fun, aren't they? I know we're frozen. I'm sorry. I wish oh, I could tell you. You know to why? Another place, oh, right. but it's both places. Area. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna lock it down then because lock it down. <laughs> Done. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Thanks. Yes, we froze for everyone saying. Okay. Did we freeze? That's fine. Just uh. Okay. Yeah, it's both places, so something will switch her. Yeah, or the internet. It just says broadcasting. Connection closed by the server, so this. It's waiting for live video signal. The broadcast is waiting for signal. It should resume. Resume should On YouTube, it's just. Yeah. Okay. It happened once before. And it'll happen again. Sure. This won't be the last video. <laughs>
Well, we were almost at an hour. Okay, well, we may as well shut it down. You're still hoping it comes back on. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not usually the one that turns it off. Oh. Were you waiting for me to do that? I can't see it, so you have to tell me. Way up. There you go. Oops. I did this. Let's try recovering the broadcast. Let's see if that did anything. This has ended. Live video has ended. Oh.